I'm a seamstress by trade. It's what I went to college for, but also happened to be my passion from an early age. There is nothing more relaxing than sewing, for me at least. I, I do it while I watch films, when doing laundry, even when I'm at the beach. <laughs> now, I'm self-employed, and don't get me wrong, I definitely have a few loyal clients, like Andrew, my neighbor. But I've got to be honest, I've been losing business. There's just not enough work out there anymore ever since that American Eagle and Fitch started uh, selling those pants with the, the damn rips already in them. Apparently that's cool now. So, what am I to do? Well, that's the reason I'm telling this story today, actually. See, this is a little bit like a confessional. I, I need to get this off my chest. You remember Andrew with the pants from before? Yeah, well, uh, okay. Here we go. Here it is. He's probably my most loyal customer, right? And I should probably appreciate him, right? Wrong. See, I've been sneaking into his house, cutting up his socks and coats, hoping he'll call me with new work. I, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm desperate. I, I didn't mention it earlier, but I actually have a crippling lottery addiction. And when I do have money, that's all I spend it on. So, now maybe you can put my behavior into context. See how desperate I need that money. I mean, I even just straight up stole from him. Crazy, I know. But I can't help myself. And every time I break in, I stay longer and longer. So I I'm worried that one day I'll hear those keys turning and Andrew will come in, see me there, and then, uh, I, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what I'd do. But... It might escalate quickly, like, I might go off the deep end real quick and stay down there. 